Good evening, everyone. I'm here with Tom and, and Fergus, who are two past head boys. What years were you at Nagel? Um, I was 94 to 98. Um, yeah, 94 to 98. I was 98 to 2002. <laughs> and completely different, what was your favourite meal from the canteen? <laughs> Um, I, never, I never really ate from the canteen. I'm sure that was a very good sausage roll, but I'm pretty sure my parents were too, uh, too stingy to, to throw out lunch money in our household. I was friends with the boarders, so sometimes I used to get freebies from, uh, from the boarders. Your favourite subjects? Um, I was a bit of a nerd, so mine would have been one of the maths. <laughs> Applicable maths or something. Definitely wasn't English for sure. Um, I'm sure we both very much enjoyed sports day, or sports. Best memories from school? There you go. Best memories from Nagel? Um, well, St. Pat's Day games. I used to love St. Pat's Day games. Um, I remember the black tarp on, on the hill. I don't know if they... You were there a long time ago, so <laughs> they had the um, black tarp and down the hill, the, the mud pit, down on one of the bottom ovals. Um, the slug. The slug's got to be at least easily my best memory from Nagel. Catching that bus for however many years, back and forth to school, off to the beach. I believe, I don't actually know, but it was alive for many years, many years after it should have been. <laughs> Any good teacher stories, and be careful. <laughs> my, I think my, one of my best memories is, uh, is our swimming carnival. So in, in our house there was only, I think eventually four of us in the, in the year group. Um, and I remember Mr Yates, uh, I, think I, uh, I think I had a bet or he probably bribed me that he was going to buy me a litre of chocolate if I did the, uh, if I did the butterfly and um, can't swim to save my life. So uh, yeah, that was very entertaining. I think I went the first half underwater and then managed to uh, um, jump off the bottom for the last half. So yeah. Got myself a chalk milk anyway. My favourite teacher moments. Well, I've got yeah, lots of stories. I remember Mr. Deathleps, and I think he's still at Nagel. Um, he was my year twelve geography teacher, and if we were well behaved or we'd um, finished our work, he used to treat us to uh, the odd uh, episode of The Simpsons, and he, he even used to pause it and rewind just to make sure we got the joke in the scene. So, <laughs> can you remember the colour of the tie? Green with the uh, with the little logo, the Nagel logo. Yeah. No lines. No lines. And the colour of the school hat. <laughs> no school hat. There was no school hat. No. The worst subject, the one that you're worst at. English for me by an absolute country mile. I even I even tried English lit in, in year eleven and twelve to try and see if that would that would scrape me through, but. No good at English. Same for me, English literature. What did you do after Nagel? There you go. I took the year off and then I moved down to Perth to study at uh, UWA, Engineering and Commerce, and to play hockey as well in Perth. What did you do for your year off? Work. In Jelton. In Perth. Yeah. Oh, in Perth. Um, so I, uh, I went to Curtin, um, down to Perth and, and to Curtin University, did, a, um, did an engineering degree. Um, yeah. And where do you live now and what have you been doing in between leaving and now? Um, so I'm actually back in Perth. So after finishing, um, after finishing uni in Perth and worked for a couple of years, probably about three or four years in Perth, um, with my engineering, um, mainly in tunnelling, ended up on the east coast for a couple of years. Um, then headed off to England, had seven-ish years in the UK, um, mainly based in London, and um, just been back in Perth almost to just over two years now. I was based in Perth um, for a long time after finishing school. I was busy with, um, with uni and then my hockey career, so... I spent 10 years with the Australian hockey team and we were based in Perth. Um, and then the last few years I was in and out of um, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, playing um, in the domestic league over there, which now, now I'm based and I'm settled living in Amsterdam, working over there. Are you married? 
Have you got kids? Have you got girlfriends? <laughs> so girlfriends? No particular friends. No particular yeah. Order. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've been married. Oh, um, Seven years. Good question. Yeah, is it? Six. Maybe married about six years. Um, I have a brand new little baby, which is a month old today. Um, uh, yeah. I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any message for everyone? Firstly, from me, I can't believe it's been 25 years. Sounds like an awfully long time when you, when you say it like that. Um, I, and I know a lot of people maybe don't enjoy high school, but I had a great time, um, really enjoyed it. Um, again, in a funny way, there was um, having, a, having your dad as a teacher running around the schools also can be uh, sometimes interesting, but uh, yeah, I thought, thought it was very entertaining. Um, and yeah, message for everyone is, can't believe it's been 25 years, and, but yeah, really enjoyed my time. Yeah, I'm very, very similar. I had a great time at Nagel. Um, great memories. I made a lot of good friends. Great, uh, great, yeah, great memories of the sports days, of the St. Passe games, of the, of the school productions that I was involved in. Um, and I suppose, for, for me, Nagel put me in really good stead for the rest of my, um, for my life after school in, in my work career and in my hockey career. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had, a, I had a great time, and for me, it's 15, well, nearly 16 years now since I finished, which makes me feel very old. Um, but I've, I still have very fond memories. And best of luck to everybody for another 25 years of Nagel. Yeah, and enjoy the night. Thank you, boys. <laughs>